Hey guys, it's Gummer here with another Warhammer Battle Report and finally getting uh, back into it after a couple of weeks of just crazy work schedules. Um, this one's just a casual game with uh, my mate who plays Wells, you've seen him before, and I've taken Orcs and we just wanted to have a play around with Law of Undeath, so I took that with the Orcs to see how it went. Um, build's probably not great against the Wood Elves, but anyway, um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we did roll up, so there is a tournament coming up in a couple of months that we might go to, so we did roll up on that and got Battle of the Pass, uh, it's 2,400 points. Um, we actually didn't know what the uh, objectives were, it ended up being um, getting 100 points for any banner that you capture, um, but yeah, we didn't work that out to the end. Um, I'll run through my list and his list just as I'm showing deployment, but um, just jumping the gun on that. So magic-wise for me, so yeah, I went Lord of Undeath, so I've got a level 4 uh, on death, on undeath, I should say, and he's got uh, the f 5 and 6 spells, uh, as well as uh, number 3, the Soul Stealer. Um, so 4, 5, 6 probably the best ones, um, but he got 3, 5, 6, and then I took Rise as well. And then um, I've got 3 level 1 Shamans, Night Goblins. So uh, 2 of them have Rise as well, and the other one's got uh, the Abyssal Swarm. So yeah, no Little Wag or Big Wag um, in this game. And he's got a level 4 of uh, Death and a level 4 of High, plus the, uh, the usual Sisters uh, magics. Um, so he's got Spirit Leech, Caress, Doom, and Purple Sun, and then uh, Arcane Unforging, Hand of Glory, Tempest, and Apotheosis on his high magic. So deployment. Um, so I've gone with I with this list. I thought I'm just going to probably go more of a Death Star sort of approach, um, and War Machines, and then see if I can raise up some chaff, and then hopefully uh, get enough points to start raising some bigger things. Uh, that was the plan. A um, little bit concerned against un, uh, Wood Elves in this because I don't really have, if, apart from War Machines, if they fail me, I don't really have a whole lot of shooting. So, um, yeah. I brought Spear Chuckers, two Spear Chuckers. Oh, let me run through it anyway. So I got two, uh, lots of Wolf Riders, uh, two Doom Divers, one Rock lo Lobber, two Spear Chuckers. The Spear Chuckers were there in case he had Treeman because he usually does have them. Um, and then I got nearly, yeah, something like 40 Savages. Uh, my General... Blackhawk General, Blackhawk BSB, and level 4 Shamans in there, as well as a level 1 Night Golem. I've got 2 Chariots, 2 Manglers, and I've got 28 Blackhawks. So I'm finally starting to paint the real Blackhawks, and not the old 4th edition or 5th edition ones. Um, I think I am going to take them to the tournament, just purely as a motivation to get them painted, otherwise they're going to sit around never getting done. Um, and there's 2 level 1 Shammies in there as well. Uh, my Shamans have Dispel Scroll, uh, channeling stuff and a power stone uh, on top of that and yeah you can jump the gun there and didn't show you where everything was but anyway you can see that and that's just the other side shot uh, so he went his uh, deployment he's got some two lots of five way watchers one on either side um, so there's some wild riders uh, he's got two I think they're what, an 11 and a 10 pack of True Flight archers. These eagles over there. Small hawks. Uh, there's his 10 poison glade guard. He's got a bunker of sisters. He's got his two level fours in there and these BSB. Some more wild riders and you can just see some way watches. So I spread out at the back there a little bit just to stop him getting behind me. Um, figuring he would actually come to me at least with these fast guys and hopefully my doom divers can take out some of them. Um, and that's just his side deployment. He rolled, um, I finished, he finished deploying first, uh, yeah, and uh, went first. So off he goes, he just moves up with his fast guys as we thought, and then he's going to start some shooting. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, they go so quick, he's got out of my charge arcs with his wild riders, and that's right about now I've just realised I've probably out uh, deployed my manglers totally wrong. I should have just had them near my doom divers, because um, now the only thing between my two Doom Divers and his uh, Wild Riders and Waywatchers is five Goblin Wolf Riders. <laughs> so it's amazing when you relook really at the pictures and go, man, that was stupid. But anyway, um, that's what happens. Um, you'll also notice too, through, through casting, I think, with Laura Death, in that I thought it was you have to deploy within 12 inches, you would actually deploy wholly within the 12 inch bubble. Um, so I think there's a few instances where that happens, so sorry about that. 
So he gets uh, magic offs 9 to 7. Um, I'll let Hand of Glory go on these poison guys at the back here. Um, yeah, of course, he ends up getting plus 3 to his ballistic skill. Um, but he failed to cast Arcane and Forging, and then I threw the rest of my Dispel Dice at Caress, which he was trying to snipe out my uh, level 4. And then the, the fighting, firing starts, so he takes out a Wolf Rider with his Way Watchers, actually quite bad shooting there. Um, manages two wounds on that Mangler at the top. Uh, he had a pretty shocking shooting phase, really, and took out my other Mangler, though. Sorry, I missed some annotations on these slides. And I think he ends up putting a wound on Chariot. But apart from that, uh, I got off pretty lightly in that shooting phase. Uh, so, yeah, this is where the charges go a bit crazy. I charge... Uh, Mangler moves up over there. He's only got one wound left, so he's not going to last long. Um, so I wasn't totally sure what to do with him. Um, Chariot charges here. He's Eagle flees, and I catch him. So that was that was awesome. Um, but now my Spear Chuckers are out. I deployed my Spear Chuckers up there um, purely... In reactionary deployment to his eagle um, <laughs> and now they really don't have anything to shoot at so yeah that's gonna be interesting uh, and then I double charge his warhawk so my chariot goes in first and they you know they're heading off towards the side of the table and I was gonna charge a savage orc block at them and I reckon I would have got them um, well, not so much got them but the the angle would have pushed them off the table definitely um, but his wild riders are up there on the top right, so you know, in hindsight, maybe I should have done it. But he would have directed, you know, at least three attacks probably into my general because he's right in the end there. So it would have been interesting. Um, although my shaman's my level, you yeah, know, my yeah, sorry, is so I in, instead what I do is send the little level one shaman out. But the angle is not so great, and so they you know, ends up pushing them back away from, not away from the table edge, but, you know, not at that angle that he's definitely going off, and, uh, yeah, he, he ends up about half an inch off the, off the table, or on the table, so that was a shame, I almost knocked him off. Um, the Wolf Riders on the bottom there have just come up to, um, you know, chaff up his, um, Wild Riders, I guess, there, and, yeah, a bit of a bad deployment, as you will see. Uh, so we go into magic 3-2, of course, my first magic phase of the undeath, and I roll 3, <sighs> which is frustrating. <laughs> but anyway, so I've got a power stone, so I throw that um, and raise up 10 skeleton warriors and get a token, and that allows me to throw the next two, uh, the rest of my dice at the same rise and get 10 archers. So I'm just proxying here uh, with some old skeletons that I've got. Um, so they're going to try and shoot the way watchers in front of them, and plus just some speed bumps over here. And my artillery continues its awesomeness from past games, and both Doomdivers misfire and can't fire this turn or next turn. I just hadn't turned that one at the top there. Um, so now I'm like, that's it. This is I've lost. You know, I was really depending on some shooting. My um, rock lobber takes out a sister, and that's about it. Um, so what I was actually doing was shooting, um, I was going to shoot both Doom Divers, I was shooting into the sisters, and that, I know they got the ward saved, but I was hoping if I could knock out, I think he has eight or something, maybe he has, yeah, I think he's got eight or nine, um, you know, I was hoping on some good rolls to knock them down below the five, um, because then I, was, I can just start putting rocks, rocks and stuff on his uh, heroes. That was the plan. In hindsight, maybe it was better to try to take out some uh, wild riders. But anyway, his turn. He um, he comes in. Oh, I'm just going, but you can see where his way. His uh, warhog riders have ended up to just off, uh, stopped from going off the table there, which sucked. Uh, so these guys come into my chariot. So it is now dead, and he's going to overrun into the black orcs. Uh, and then he charges his Wild Riders and Waywatches into my Night Goblins. And yeah, it was a close... Um, it was pretty close on how he could he could fit through there, but he could. Um, which is a shame for me, but yeah, we measured it, it was fine. And then he brings his um, Bunker out of Charge Arc as well, my Savages. So now his Wild Riders aren't going you know, you know, to get butted up against the table on an overrun. Um, let's just uh, pick up the board, I think. 
and he gets his Glade Riders uh, on as well at the back here. Yeah, just some shots, I think. I think, um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so Magic was 12 to 6. Um, a big big phase for him. Um, I just spelled Cress, I think it was probably on the Shaman that he was trying again. Um, and then he fails to cast Curse Anra here. Um, he threw the rest of his dice at uh, Purple Sun and I scrolled it. He didn't roll a double six, so that was good because he was lined up uh, pretty good to go through my savages there. Uh, shooting wise, he's taken out um, my Mangler now. Um, he's taken out some of my archers, and as as expected, he's uh, uh, wild riders there have taken out that um, chariot and overrun into the black orcs, and now we'll see how much damage he can do. I mean, he expects to lose that over. Obviously, um, he won't break steadfast, but he'll get rid of my shamans. That's what he wants to do. Um, you can see I've, he's also put a wound on my uh, doom diver there just from poison shooting, I think. And, of course, the um, Bullf Riders here die, and, yeah, his Waywatch has stopped the overrun of his Wild Riders. So, my turn two, I'll just bring up uh, my Wolf Riders. There's four of them left in the... Um, uh, just trying to stop the advance here straight to the Doom Dogs. Not that I expect it's, you know, I don't think they're going to hold or anything. Um, uh... Just can't remember what I was saying here. Spinning starts. Yeah, so now I start <laughs> the, the spinning that I do with my Savage Orcs here, just trying to get them in the front arc. So I've only got one direct damage spell, so... Um, and now with, you know, my aunt, my War Machines can't shoot this turn, they're going to be dead the turn after. I'm um, going to be struggling to reach out and actually get him with anything, which is frustrating. Um, so I go to Magic and he dispels the Dark Order. So basically while I was playing, I threw my dice and tried to... Um, what I was going to bring in. Now, could I afford the chariots? I think because I had tokens, I could. I think I could brought three chariots in right in front of my Doom Divers was what I was going for or something like that. If not, it was going to be a bunch of horse archers just to try and get in the way. Um, that doesn't work. You can see, I think all we do is just move forward up here. Uh, so combat, yeah, he kills about nine Black Orcs um, and I only managed three to kill three Wild Riders. I, the... Um, I think I did enough damage, he just made some great saves, it was three or four um, armor saves and um, ward saves, which sucked. Uh, so I'm steadfast though, and hold, but yeah, my shamans are dead. Um, and his warhawks, again in his turn three, his warhawks have charged my chariot, now I get out of there. It's only got one wound, it's not going to last long anyway. Uh, pick from that side. Yeah, you can see his these guys have just squished through the so the Warhawk the Wave Watchers have charged the Congood Wild uh Wolf Riders and then the Wild Riders come around the back there to take on my Doom Diver, so it's gonna be dead. Uh, going in magic though, he's five to three, he throws five dice at Purple Sun, it doesn't get it, and I throw three dice to dispel it, and I roll that, so I can't blame the dice all the time. And yeah, I the Blackhawks finish off his um in his turn, finished off the three Wild Riders and just actually didn't reform because of the angle meant I was actually closer to his um, bunker unit. So in my turn, I charge his bunker unit and he likes to flee, so he takes off. Um, you know, I don't believe I can... I think I did... Did I try a redirect? Maybe, I can't remember. Probably did until there's archers and I didn't get anywhere. Um, my savages charge into those wild uh, warhawk riders they flee and then i redirect into the way watches that are attacking my doom diver and then i get into magics eight to six um i get soul stealer up and manage to to take out two wild riders over here um, and then i manage to raise a level one necro he gets doom and darkness and then i get some carrion birds as well and i put them down here just trying to think that i might be able to just harass and stop his wild riders maybe with a charge get them but they're just so quick it would have probably been better off raising him and chasing his fleeing units and just trying to push him off tables and stuff uh, and keep his archers busy <laughs> shooting other things. But anyway, um, yeah, in hindsight, it would have been better, actually, because his archers cause ended up just concentrating on my black orcs. Uh, so, of course, the Doom Lover dies. Um, but my Savage Overrun gets blocked, luckily, because that's uh, Necro um, into the back of the Carrion. Um, you'll note, too, I mean, the Necro should not have been able to join that unit um, you should have been, you have to place them an inch away, I, I think. 
Um, so I screwed that up. I guess that's why you practice this and learn. And then his turn four, all hell breaks loose on his side. And yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but gave me a game. Um, his bunker fails to rally. Runs off the board. So there goes his two level fours and BSB. And yeah, I mean, I felt slack. As, you know, you don't want to... Not that I'm going to win, but you don't want to win games like that. Um, but at the end of the day, it's part of the fleeing tactic, tactic, I guess. And if you choose to flee, that's one of the consequences. <laughs> So yeah, he was fine. He was like, "That's what happens." Uh, that's what I mean. He's a great opponent. He's good at you know. He understands this stuff, and it's good. Um, yeah, and he's still run, running rings around me anyway. So, wild riders, get out. You know, move around. Stop me uh, getting charges with things with my savages. And then the shooting starts, and he wipes out a crap load of black orcs. And this is where I probably should have got the carrying out there, just to at least maybe uh, try and get him thinking about charging them and uh, shooting at them instead. So my turn four, I do move him over there, but um, again, just to get in the way of the Warhawk riders, um, but didn't position it that great. You can see there's hardly any Blackhawks left. Um, I've moved my spear trackers around the corner. They haven't been able to shoot, so I've been moving them uh, in the hope that, yeah, I might be able to shoot down his wild riders, and he has actually placed them in a position now where I can but get both. Uh, last turn too, so he's taken out my rock lobber. He's dead. Uh, Magic state to six. I raise up 15 skellies, skelly archers, sorry, to try and take out some of these um, warhawk riders. Ah, warhawk riders, wild riders. Um, and that's the thing. It's the only thing I've got to try and get some ranged attacks, which is frustrating. And I send in uh, the archers and the 10 skeleton. Warriors into the into the glade guard up here. Um, so what I did with magic, sorry, was um, I threw a boost of doom and darkness up here on them, just thinking you know it's going to help. Now in hindsight, that was bad because even with their weapon skill one, my skill is a weapon skill two. <laughs> it really doesn't make much of a difference. They still manage to slaughter me all the time. What I should have done is put doom and darkness on his wild riders. So you know just to try and make him fail that frenzy check and make him charge my uh, savages. But yeah, we as soon as I cast it, we put it down. We realized, I was like, yeah, you know what, should have done that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, these his glade riders gone into spear chucker number one. Oh, so they're still there, and they both missed, needing fours to hit his um his uh, wild riders that are down the end. They yeah, they both missed. So I missed. They really haven't done that. Well, they haven't. They haven't done anything all game. That's what you get with two of them, I guess. Uh, he's, yeah, so I haven't positioned the carrion good enough, and we don't really have the right bases and all that, so it didn't really matter. So anyway, he's able to fly over and just get my chariot, so it's not long for this world. And I'm pretty sure he wipes the rest of my black orcs out and moves his three wild riders around. I've managed to kill one with my archers, but that was it. <laughs> oh, I've got four black orcs left. Look at that. That's nice. Uh, but no chariot. Um, and I'm down one skelly up here, by the look of it. Uh, so, yeah, my turn five again. I'm the savages just spin around again, just trying to get in... So I can shoot my only direct damage spell if I get a chance. Speed chucker number one's dead. And um, that's about it. In uh, combat, these skellies are dead, and now they've sort of reformed around. And he goes into combo charge mode to take out these carrion. I mean, he doesn't have to, but I guess better to get the charge on me than me on him. And that one's going to die. And the Blackhawks finally succumb to all that shooting. So yeah, bang. Now he's wiped out everything except for my uh, Death Star now. And there's his overrun in his last turn. So then my turn, the only thing I do is I swing my Savages to get the, uh, the Ark up. I've only got two things that I can do, so magic was 10 to 6, I get Soul Stealer off on his Wild Riders, but I only roll a 6 or something, so I don't cause any wounds. I raise up 10 Skelly Archers, but don't even bother placing them. I take the pot shots, I kill two, <laughs> which is good, but left one on there, so didn't manage to get them. So yeah, I was chasing him for like half the game, couldn't even kill 6 Wild Riders. Uh, bit of a shame. But I can say thank 
Thank God for uh, Death Stars and Failed Rallies, because it's the only thing that kept me in this game. Um, when we first added up, I thought it was 11 to 9 win to me, actually, which is crazy, uh, just because of the amount of points in that Savage block. But when I uh, realised the scenario is actually 100 points for banners, um, when you add that in, you got two banners compared to me only getting one. So I made it a 10-10 draw. So it was a draw. Um, so I can't complain. But yeah, list-wise... Um, I mean, the, the things I'm going to change just for the next test game is, is just go to two level two sh shamans with death, un law of undeath, sorry, and just keep and bring the big wild back in. I mean, I need, you know, not having, it's not even foot, although foot would have helped definitely in this game because I wouldn't be able to reach out and get these, um, you know, the, these blocks of troops, not blocks, but lines of troops where foot can probably do some damage. But the, um, not having hand and stuff as well uh, would have been really good. So just have, having, hand, having hand and foot would have been great. Um, and then, you know, even just the silly things like gaze and mork, whatever they are or whatever. You never know. Some of these things might have reached out and got someone. So um, it's, yeah, not a bad, bad list, but against this matchup might not be great. I think against a combat army, um, it would have been interesting because, you know, what it would have done is raised up a Necrotex and stuff like that, and I think the combat blocks would have been interesting to see. So I want to have a few more plays with it and, and see what happens. But anyway, I hope you liked it, um, something slightly different, and um, hopefully get some more games in with, uh, not holidays, I am in my own business, I don't really get holidays, but yeah, if other people are on holidays, I might get a chance to play them. Anyway, talk to you uh, next time. Cheers.